Photography Close-Up is a presentation of MagRat. Welcome to Photography Close-Up. My name is Joel Myrowitz. I'm a serious photographer, and I think of myself as a street photographer. I was born in New York City. I've worked shooting on the streets of the city for 40 years. I'd like to share some of my ideas and secrets with you about how to work on the street. Whether you're standing in a marketplace in Mexico City or a plaza in Paris, there are things of interest on the street. How do you make a picture of them? How do you make an interesting photograph? How do you disappear in the crowd so that nobody sees you? These are some of the things that one needs to know if you can feel comfortable in any kind of public place. So join me on MAGRAC, and I'll show you some of the secrets about working on the streets of any city in the world. I always read my hand to see what the light is like, so I know the exposure. What I love about any street corner is that people gather in the corner. And when people gather in the corner, you never know if something's gonna happen. Now there's 30 people standing here. In two seconds, they're all gonna be gone. So the idea is to watch what's happening in any crowd and see if there's an interaction, a gesture, a hug, a kiss, a goodbye, something that's a significant gesture that makes it interesting for people to, to look at in a photograph. Photographs happen spontaneously. You can't predict what's going to happen. And in fact, the best thing about street photography is that the unpredictable occurs. Here comes a whole breed of dogs, a whole... Hey, you guys, look at this crowd. Look at this crowd. Look at this picture. Photography is made up out of life, and yet it's invisible. It's all present, but it's invisible. Only the camera makes it visible. <laughs> One of the things about working on the street is that you have to be invisible. If you want to get up close to people and photograph them, you've got to find a kind of body language that doesn't threaten them in any way. You've got to be comfortable in yourself, comfortable working wherever you stand. I will try to bob and weave and, and make myself less visible to the people who are here. I'll be able to go right up to people and take their picture if I want to, and they won't see me because I'll, I'll convince them in some way that I'm not there. Body language, gestures, faints, just like a boxer bobs and weaves and faints, you can do that and make, it, make yourself invisible. I'll show you. just wander into the space and watch the way people change. It's like seeing the stream. The stream is rushing by and it's changing every second. The stream is never the same a minute after each other. Look at this guy standing here in the shadow. All this red and the green thing over his head. You notice somebody's hat, and then you notice somebody's hairdo. It's as if one thing inspires you to pay attention to something else. I mean, there's a kind of sexiness to the way people look and the way their clothes describe them, a sumptuousness. What's interesting is the guy and the girl up on the sign. So you might be able to like make something put together. It might be the the humble street cleaner and the gorgeous model. One has to keep their eye open all the time to see what's coming. Is there something coming down the street? Is there something coming across? 
What is it that makes a photograph? You never really know. Look, there's a guy in a car talking on the phone with this beautiful woman on the corner. Whenever you have an instinct, you gotta follow it. That's one of the secrets about photography is that you get the sense, I gotta change. And you just go there and before you know it, something remarkable happens. Look how complicated this is. Just sitting on the street, taxi cab out there. I bet you in a second they're gonna pick it up and they're gonna have to carry it somewhere, right? I'm gonna follow them. They're gonna go somewhere with it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. They broke it. Look at that. What a fantastic chair that is. They broke somebody's artwork. <laughs> They're in trouble. It's important to remember that the camera puts a frame around life. What happens in the frame is the content. You can put together things that don't necessarily fit together. You're just framing what's possible. So you put something on one side of the frame, uh, somebody hugging and kissing goodbye, and the other side of the frame, someone is walking their dog. You never know if these things make for a new kind of content, a kind of fresh content. And it's important to just be open-minded about this yourself, so that when you're photographing on the street, the surprise, the incredible replenishment of surprise that comes your way allows you to make new photographs.